Hey everyone, it's me Sherry. So for today's video, this is going to be a collaboration with some of my fellow Canadian YouTubers. Everybody's links will be down in the down bar. I'm doing this with some great girls like Mommy Moments with Jacqueline and J'adore Fashion XO who's Crystal. Everybody's links will be down in the down bar so you can definitely go check those guys out as well. Make sure you check out their videos, subscribe if you like what you see. This is like I said a collaboration so the topic for this collaboration is actually going to be fall essentials. So we are all Canadians so we decided to pair up and do like a fall essentials video so I know these are very popular there's a lot of people that are doing them out there so I just thought we'd go ahead so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is fashion items and I have a few here that I want to discuss which are my personal essentials for the fall so the first are long socks I love long socks in the fall and the winter as well so definitely these are just an argyle print one that I grabbed to show you guys um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I have two different type of boot options which go along with that. The first is the classic combat boot. These are just my brown combat boots. I've had these for a couple of years now. They lace here but they zip on the side too and they have all these buckles. These are like a standard thing for fall for me and for a lot of people I believe. Um, the fall where we live it's actually um, a lot of wind and rain and like mud and everything so an essential for me would be a rubber boot these ones I got from my sister um, they have foxes on them they're like a dark gray enough said they're a rubber boot <laughs> the next thing that I have is leggings I love leggings in the fall these are just one of the pairs that I grabbed out to show you guys and they just happen to be another one of my favorite fall essentials which is plaid which is what I'm wearing a plaid shirt and I also have this one which is new so plaids are definitely things that I like to wear in the fall and then last but not least for fashion I have scarves these are just some of my scarves but I have a lot more and I like to be cozy in the fall so scarves are definitely a fashion fall essential for me I also have some body care items that I want to discuss the first thing is a body scrub because we are getting ready to go into fall which then leads into winter winters in Canada hair can be really hard on your skin so I have a body scrub just to keep all the dead dead skin away I use this pretty much all year round though um, some sort of body scrub so I like to do that as, as well as lotions I need lots and lots of lotion I didn't bring one in to show you guys but face lotion body lotion in fall scents bath and body works you know the routine and also in the summer and spring months I tend to lean more towards um, body mists and body sprays in the fall time I go towards actual perfumes this is just one of mine this is I guess people would consider this a spring scent but I wear it all year round it's my Taylor Swift Wonderstruck perfume and like I said I lean towards more perfumes in the winter and the fall as opposed to the body sprays that I use in the summer so now we will get into makeup related issues so my favorites for fall would be first off a full coverage foundation <laughs> this is the Revlon color stay I just got this recently and I've been enjoying it um, the color is a little bit darker than my skin because I'm a little bit tanned right now so I hopefully can make this work for a little bit longer plus this was on sale for $2.99 it's regular $18.99 at my drugstore so I just thought I would include that. Another thing that I need for the fall is a red or a brown lip. Those are the two ones that I tend to go for. So two of my favorites would actually be Velvet Teddy by MAC, which looks like this. And it looks like this. And the lip combo that I'm wearing now is a combo that I've been wearing a lot recently. And it is the Milani Lip Pencil in Spice. Which looks like that. So that's Velvet Teddy in Spice. And what I have over Spice is this Bite Beauty um, pigmented lip crayon. And I don't, I can't read the color. I don't know what it is, but I'll leave an annotation. I'll get Hubert to read it for me. And that's what that looks like. It's like a reddish color. This came in a set that was out last Christmas. That's what I'm wearing 
So that's Velvet Teddy Spice and then this color, sorry guys. And then another one that I like to wear a lot is another Bite Beauty and I know this one is Marietage. I got this in the Give Me Some Lip, lip Set last year. And as you can see, I wear that, wore that down because I've been wearing it a lot and that's just like a standard, like darker red color. So those are some of my favorite fall lipsticks or lip products. I probably have way more, but those are the ones that I've been gravitating towards. Since we're on the topic of lip products, I also love lip balm for fall. I need to keep my lips very well moisturized for the fall and the winter because, as I said, they're, they're hectic in Canada. They're not good at all. And I actually use um, a lip exfoliator too, like from Lush or Elf or who, whichever one I happen to have just to keep my lips in good tip-top shape. Well, you kind of have to do that all year round, but it's essential for me in fall. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to talk about some face products. The first thing is my illuminator, my NYX illuminator in the color Ritualistic. It looks like this, and I don't know if it's going to show off if I swatch it, but strobing and highlighting are like usually popular in the spring and summer, but for this reason, they're, they're for this some reason this year, they're like out in the fall a lot, so there is my highlight. I Like I said, I don't know how well that's picking up for you guys, but hopefully you can see it. My favorite blush color is this one by Be A Bombshell, and this is in the color Sweet Cheeks. I find it's pink, but it kind of pulls a little berry or burgundy-ish, and that's kind of why I like it. And it just, it's kind of, um, it's getting kind of, obviously I don't put it on that thick, but I just really like this for the fall. I like this darker color. Um, I also like Rockateur from Benefit. I just wanted to throw that in there. I just didn't dig that out. And another thing that I've been loving and that I need as an essential for the fall is my Naked palette, my original one, because I just find these colors are perfect for fall. This is what I'm wearing on my eyelids today with the Rubenesque Pink Pot on my lid. I basically am using Half Baked on my lid. I have some Naked and Buck. A Naked um, in my crease and Buck is on my outer corner and kind of buffed out in my crease. Okay, so now I actually have some random favorites. As you guys know, TV comes back on in the fall, all the shows. My favorite fall show to cuddle and watch is The Vampire Diaries. I absolutely love it. I can't wait for it to come back on. Um, I'm not going to talk about movies or anything, but that's just my essential because it's good to have a good show or a good book or something to keep you entertained through the yuckier days in the fall. So I'm going to say The Vampire Diaries is mine because I keep up with that show religiously. And then I just have a little treat that I want to talk about, and it is like different flavor teas. I am a really big tea drinker. Um, I love to drink tea and I drink it a lot more in the fall and the winter time. So it's my essential to have a good cup of tea. So right now this is a holiday tea. It's the uh, sugar plum spice so it's kind of like spicy. I really love apple cinnamon tea from Tim Hortons though. That is my absolute favorite um, for flavor teas or the chai tea. So those are my fall essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed those. Um, that's everything that I could think of that I absolutely need to have for the fall. Don't forget to check out the other girls in the club and subscribe to their channels if you like what you see because they're really great. I religiously watch their videos as well and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone!